New at 10, police weed out a massive marijuana farm in Franklin. Investigators say it was all going on just steps away from home. They're now working on destroying the crops, but so far no charges in this case. Tom Durian explains why. Confidential informants tipped off the Franklin Police Department back in August that they saw and smelled marijuana on the property. This is not your college roommate's basement's grow operation. Franklin Mayor Steve Olson says the alleged massive marijuana grow operation was on a scale not usually seen inside any city limits. I was astonished when I found out the extent of the grow operation. In a search warrant applied for by Franklin police, officers say their informants saw thousands of marijuana plants inside these greenhouses. And when officers showed up to check it out, they smelled what they said was a strong odor of marijuana. This was a manufacturing operation uh, that was doing it for lots of profit and a lot of plants. The property owner leases out the land. He told police and me when I talked to him off camera tonight that he knew the land was being used to grow hemp and that it was not a full scale marijuana grow. It is not hemp. They're not making rope and they're not making CBD products out of it. Court documents show items listed as drugs were seized from the property, but do not specify the amount of THC or the chemical responsible for marijuana's psychological effects, which would make it illegal. We have the evidence. We have uh, documentation. We're ready to go. All we need is a DA to prosecute. And that's where this case sits tonight. The search warrant says a company out of Brookfield is leasing the land and that a permit had been applied to grow hemp on the street where these greenhouses sit. But there's a discrepancy in the address. Today, local law enforcement and crews from the state's Department of Agriculture carried out a destroy order pulling and removing the plants. Tomorrow, whatever is left on that site is expected to be burned. The district attorney's office says they're waiting on the Franklin Police Department to issue their final report and request criminal charges. But as you heard in that story, the mayor believes that his police department has done all that and is now on the DA's office to move it forward. Reporting in Franklin, Tom Durian, TMJ4 News. Well, we want to know who oversees hemp farms. A quick search found every hemp grower and processor in the state of Wisconsin must register annually with the Department of Agricultural Trade and Consumer Protection.